Welcome to the Star Report video blog. I'm sports columnist Sean Starr. This is Marcus Walker, Ram Senior Guard, joining me. Thanks for joining me, Marcus. Thank you. Um, well, Saturday night was senior night. It was a pretty uh, emotional game. You had a lot of family and friends in attendance. You guys played a, a really good team down the wire, past the wire, in a double overtime, but you guys didn't get the win. How, how bittersweet was the, was the night for you? Um, it, it was an open okay night. Um, winning the game would have you know, kept it off, uh, especially with it being senior night, uh, family being here. But um, at the same time, I enjoyed myself and had a good game. Yeah. Was pleased with the effort, and uh, hopefully, you know, that's something that will build over the years. You know, with uh, people coming after me, is that you know we show the the fans, and you know, hopefully, the record will start showing that uh, you know a lot of effort, and um, we'll build a, a, a good. You know, reputation of being a full college team. Um, however, it isn't the last game. You guys still got San Diego State here on Wednesday, and then the tournament coming up next week. Is it going to be hard, kind of, to refocus after all that emotion, or you already moved past it right now? On, on the next game. Wow, you got to move past it. Uh, just because the, the next game is always, uh, you know, always an important game, uh, beating them for us, you know, can help us going into the to the tournament, the conference tournament, and it can also, you know, spoil, uh, you know, another season for another team. It's, you know, what's better than stopping the, the, another team from doing what they want to do when you're not, or when you don't, have, uh, you know, have the, the chances that they do at, at this point in, in the season. So I think uh, we're not going into the tournament or not going even into the um, game on Saturday. I mean, the game on Wednesday, you know, expect them to lose, but just, you know, it's all about, you know, just having faith and believing in ourselves at this point because March, you know, anything happens. Now, you don't have a nickname that is at least widely used that I know of. So me and my, my colleagues sat down and talked about it. And given your ability to heat up quickly and score a lot of points in a short amount of time, we came up with Hot Pocket. What do you think of that? Or do you have a nickname that you prefer over that? Uh, I just like, you know, just to hear what a lot of people say about, you know, how I play or, you know, give me nicknames. But, um, I'd have had a couple of nicknames over the years, and you know, I just enjoy it, you know, getting nicknames because, you know, it's, it's something that somebody else feels about you, whether it's negative or positive. And I think for the most part, I've, I've been fortunate to have a lot of positive, a lot of positive things happen to me or a lot of positive things said about me throughout my life. So uh, I think high pocket is good. Now, you were, you were suspended earlier in the year for academic reasons. But I've seen you at the library, man, more than a couple times. Tell me how difficult it is to be a student athlete for people who don't know to look at it and just like, oh man, they're on free scholarship, they should be, you know, they got all those resources. It's, it's difficult, isn't it? More than people think. I don't think people understand how hard it is for uh, you to be an athlete and a full time student. Um, you know, like you said, I was an elder. You know, I think uh, people make mistakes, and you know, I, I learn from that. And uh, I, you know, takes. You know, certain things from that situation and, uh, and apply them to my life as far as, uh, you know, being more organized and uh, being able to plan my time out. But um, being, a, being a student is, <laughs> is hard in itself. And then, you know, on top of that, being an athlete is, you know, just double the, just double the work. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I don't get in trouble if I'm, if I'm not <laughs> up to par. No one knows about it. You yeah. Know? So I think it's just... Um, you know, just having self-discipline, uh, I think uh, I lost focus of what I was here for for a little bit, just, you know, wanting to have fun and, um, you know, just looking, losing focus of uh, what I was really here for. And I think that uh, I'm back on top of that, and I'm just fortunate that it didn't cost me more than, than it could have. Now, before you guys got here, before you and Miles and, and Gardner got here, the program has been somewhat notorious for not being able to keep players here. Um, how much do you think is the community a factor in that and the, and the Fort Collins location of Fort Collins a factor or is this a place that going forward it's going to be more of a consistent program? Uh, the community here has been good for me because uh, honestly I came you know, to CSU thinking you know, I'm going to come down here and do my two years and then I'm out of here. Uh, not thinking of all the great relationships that I've built and uh, the ones that I'm, you know, I could potentially build 
you know, up until this summer. I have to take two more classes in the summer to, you know, complete my um, complete my uh, time here at CSU as far as a student. And uh, I look forward to it. Uh, just graduating is going to be great for me. I'll be the first male to graduate from my family. And uh, I just know it's important for me to get my degree, you know. I know that means a lot to yeah. you, the first person. Yeah, that, that's big for me, just... You know, I got little brothers. I got two little brothers. I got, you know, I got sisters. One that's, you know, older than me. She's in college too. But just people in my community know, you know, they look up to me. And, uh, you know, it, it took, you know, a lot for me to understand that a lot of people do uh, put faith in you because uh, it's been times that I feel people don't even really care about themselves, but they really care that I succeed. And I just think that it's um, going to be very important for me to, uh, Take this, you know, specific, this specific uh, situation and uh, turn it around for my family. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I know you've been a busy man. It seems like you're a story in your in every paper every day now. But I appreciate you taking the time. Good luck Wednesday, Marcus. Thank you. I appreciate Hot it. Thank you. Take these and good luck in the tournament. You too. All right. It's been Star Report Video Blog. Thanks for tuning in.